Suppose you wish to construct a 90% confidence interval for a population proportion, and also suppose we have the following information uh, gathered from that sample. The number of successes is 55, and the number in the sample is 110. Well, this is how you can do it on the calculator. You can hit Stat, scroll over to Test, and then you scroll down until you find the one prop Z int command. And it's a little ways down, but it is there. Now, X here means the number of successes. It is not the sample proportion. So we have to type in our number of successes, which we find to be 55 for our example. And then N is the number in the sample. In our example, it's 110. Then the confidence level is 90%. And then we ask to calculate. And here we get our confidence interval. First thing listed is the confidence interval, then the sample proportion, and then the number in the sample. So th what we have done is we have constructed this interval knowing the number of successes and the number in the sample. Now suppose we have the following information about a sample. That this time a sample proportion is 0.56 and the sample size is 345. And we wish to determine a 95% confidence interval. Well, we go back to stat, go back to tests, and we scroll until we find one prop Z int command again. We select that command. And this time, we have to remember that X is the number of successes, so we have to do a calculation here. So we type in our sample proportion, and we multiply that by the sample size. And what happens is that we do not get an integer value. So I will go ahead and use standard rounding rules to make this an integer value. The number of successes must be an integer value. So we'll go ahead and scroll back up and adjust this a little bit to 193. Then I will go ahead and input the sample size and then the confidence level and then I will calculate. And here again we see that we have the confidence interval first, the sample proportion. Now this isn't exactly 0.56 because we had to do that little bit of rounding for the number of successes. And then we have the sample size here. And this is how you may conduct a confidence interval for one sample proportions on the TI-8384 calculators.